that didn't work. Okay, there we go. Yay, it works. Hey guys, it's Morgana Hilra here, and as you see, I am sitting here with some lovely friends. Um, I, I don't know, I slept through Halloween, and I decided to come online and poke around and see what's out here, and I went trick-or-treating at um, RC Cluster. They had like a trick-or-treat event going on, and I believe it's until the 5th? Or the seventh? I don't know. Either way, <clears throat> if you're watching this, you still have time. Um, and at that place, I got the boo above my head. Um, I wanted to incorporate more stuff, but I ended up going to another event, and they had gifts, and oh my god. So see the tag above my head? I love, or I heart, gimme gacha. Now, if you go to, if you wear this tag and you go to the gacha garden, I would say about 35% of the people that have gifts out actually program their um, little gift correctly. So you, it's a hit and miss. You gotta click the gift and you might get it. <clears throat> Pardon me, it's like that trick part of trick or treat. <laughs> it's actually not a trick or treat. It's, I don't know what it is actually, but hey, gifts, right? And what's really cool is I tend to, if I go to like a store or something and they have a gift out, I'll take their gift <laughs> and look around their store because the fact that, and usually I'll buy something, the fact that they are so generous to put something out there that they've worked really hard on makes me want to go to their store and, you know, buy their items. It's just like, I don't know, it's good business. <laughs> That's my opinion. Um, another great uh, thing that I did today is I went to Laura Hurley because she has a new skin out and I'm going to show you a close up now that you've got the away look. See this gorgeous skin? It is the pale, no, milky, milky tone um, and you have to join the group which is free and it's for Katawa, the Katawa applier. So there's that. I am using shadows today and a bit of a brighter light because I wanted to do a washboard kind of kind of deal. Um, my hair, my ears, my oh, my necklace is actually a gift from the Gacha Garden. Doo -doo. All the information will be on my blog post. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Um, I'm not. I don't think these ears are a gift, but they're you know, low cost, they're gacha. Um, maybe I can higher them up a bit. Bring them all the way up so you can see them. So that's gacha. My hair is a gacha from Doe. Of course, you know my eyes. You better recognize my eyes if you've been following me. I'm still wearing the same Dark Passions nail polish because I love this nail polish. I'm sorry, but I do. Um, <laughs> yeah. My the background that I'm standing on is actually um, from Exposure, and they are. Um, I gotta back this up a bit here. They are also at the Gacha Garden, and this one is bars. I also have circles. I went with bars for this post. I should have gone with circles when I checked the other poses. Um, yeah, the poses are behind this area here, so I can show you. Um, pose one. Whee! It's still kind of cool. Now keep keep your eye on that um, boo up there. Go again. That's the number two pose. That dog is digging again. The dog is also from the Gacha Garden, and this one's from, is it called Jean? J-I-A-N. This is the Black Companion Common, but you know what? Sometimes the commons are just as cute as the rares. However, if you have extra of these guys and you want to share, feel free to send them to me. <laughs> oh my god, there he goes again. Because I will totally blog it and be like uber happy and you know, you know me. Uh-oh, hold on. <laughs> Excuse me. Bless me, I have a little cold. 
I believe my dress is from Miss Chelsea, but I could be wrong because I put it on yesterday with the sole intention of blogging it yesterday, but as I, as I mentioned to a few people, I pretty much passed right out. So let's take a look at where it's from, shall we? Ding! Okay, so my necklace is a gift, as I mentioned, from Abrasive. My shoes are from Candy Doll, the Misha heels. Hair is from Joe, called Kitty. Now, the kitty um, ears that I'm wearing do not come with this. Actually, the kitty is referring to this. See? The Mau Mau clip. Mau! The ears are from Avi Way or Av Ava Way? Ava Way. My balloon. Oh, I love this balloon. I believe this was a gift. And it was... <clears throat> it works with your avatar like your AO so the strings on the bottom are um, oh goodness do you guys see my you guys don't even see my cursor oh boy okay so the strings on the bottom actually work with your avatar so you can like not with your avatar your AO so you can actually wear this with anything it's a good thing I'm doing close-ups huh or you wouldn't know what the heck I was pointing at okay um do, do, do. Yep, I was right. The dress is from Miss Chelsea, and it's the Dion um, dress in charcoal. Um, there's the Gian Peewee puffs. That's that one there. My eyes are from Izzy, and there he goes again. That's too cute. My septum. I believe this is I'm not sure I think it's a gift I could be wrong so don't quote me on this but I think it is and it comes with a HUD with different colored um doo -doo -doo, is this it yes with different colored metals and roses so you can change the color you can wear gold but I don't like gold <laughs> so we'll just go with um, the red if it's going to change for me. Ah, there we go. Isn't that pretty? And you get the pink. Da -da 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 -da. Not bad for wait, that's not pink. Uh oh. Something's messy with the HUD. Oh wait, wait, wait. There's the violet. <laughs> Who cares though? It's a gorgeous gift. I love it. Eventually it'll res. Ooh, hello. She's got cavities. <laughs> there we are. And then, will it change? I don't know. There's something wacky with the HUD, but who cares? It comes with a HUD and it's gorgeous. <laughs> and it's a gift, so really. I'm going back to that one. Back in black. Yahoo! Alright. So there we go. And this little demon here... <laughs> I actually had a gold one as well, but I sent it over to Dead Cell as a gift because I thought he might like it. Isn't he adorable? I love this thing. It's from Lasso. Is that how you say it? Lasso? I suck at this. Da -da 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 -da. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. There it is. Lassitude and Inu to Dragon Wilt. This one's in teal. I really wish I could have gotten it in like pink or purple or something like that, but I suck. <laughs> what else? What else? I don't know what else. The head that I'm wearing is the Dinah head, I believe. Let's make sure. Diana. Yes, Diana. And that is because it is the head that is shown with the um, doo -doo -doo skin from Laura Hurley. Again, free skin! <laughs> so there's a lot of freebies on me. Um, well, I figure one, two, three, three freebies, you know. And gadgets and just so much fun. Um, doo -doo -doo. 
I guess that's it. I'm sorry that I slept through Halloween. I had wanted to come online and go trick-or-treating and go to different sims and stuff, but in the end, my health went out and I went to sleep. Um, to my sponsors, I thank you to the people that have um, accepted that I have been ill in real life. I'm getting better. I mean, my ankle's gotten better, thank God. <laughs> we really thought that I was going to lose my foot because it had gotten that bad. Um, <clears throat> my nurse had taken a picture, and then because she wasn't able to send it, um, I had gotten my girl's dad to take a picture of it and uh, with his cell phone, and so I was able to show people with that. So that was loads of fun. <laughs> it was my my foot was pale, and there was like this, there was the wound itself, and then there was red, like beet red all the way around. Now you have to understand my feet are normally cold, okay? Actually my whole body's cold, unnaturally cold. So the fact that this one area that went from around my wound all the way down to the bottom of my heel was bright red and boiling hot. Like you put your hand on that thing and you burned. <laughs> so that gives you a clue on how bad things got. But um, the nurse, she switched out treatment and, well, I've been um, released from their care and released from the surgeon's care, so things must be better. <laughs> Yay! Now all we have to do is deal with the arrhythmia and the, um, the, what caused the wound. It was the lupus stuff. You know, I really wish that I was able to know what my birth parents suffered from because the fact that I don't know the majority of their illnesses is like, I don't know, I feel like a walking petri dish. <laughs> or like, I don't know, maybe a pharmacy? <laughs> but hopefully things will start to calm down now that we know what things are. What is this? The random things on my desk. Quarterderm? Oh yeah, that's what I was using when my ankle first started to flare up. I thought, you know, I'll just use this stuff and it'll make it go away. Yeah, it didn't. <laughs> anyway, so <clears throat> there is a test out there that I can do that will tell me um, all the illnesses that I'm susceptible to. I can't even pronounce that word. Um, and it will also tell me my genealogy. But it's like a hundred bucks. I don't have a hundred dollars. <laughs> oh wait, a hundred dollars plus tax. And it's like, you know, in the long run it would be worth it because then I could bypass my birth parents. I could bypass all the the extra work and everything and just have some computer off in oblivion do the test for me you know it's just a pain in the ass so I want to know and I mean it's just ugh. I know that I'm susceptible blah, blah, blah. there you know I could develop cancer because both my birth parents had cancer or at least no wait retract that one had uterine cancer which was my quote-unquote mother and she had her uterus removed I know that much and the other um, his mother I think had cancer but I don't know I think it was lung cancer which was brought on by herself because she smoked like a chimney so I don't smoke I don't do drugs I mean hell you guys have seen me when I tried when I tried to do the the special brownie stuff yeah for my back <laughs> it just yeah I was high for like three days straight it wasn't happening <laughs> I haven't done that since <laughs> um what else <sighs> I just I don't know I'm just confused and I just want to know what's gonna happen to me or what could happen I don't think it could get much worse than it already has you know I don't think that life could deal me that much of a bad hand but then again, who knows? And then you have to remember, there are people out there that have it so much worse. Like, um, I just heard that 
a um, designer, and I'm going to say his name is Dan Daniel. His name is Daniel, but I'm not sure what his in-world name is, but I know that he was the creator of, is it Zoroko? I'm sure that everybody right now is jumping on, going, no, it was this, it was this. But um, we had a fundraiser for him a few months back, and um, everybody was really hopeful, and then he just passed away. And it's like, you never know. You never know when it's time to go. And people have different opinions on what it means. Like, it, you know, some people say that it was his time to go, that God wanted him by his side, or anything like that I don't know but you know they say that once you're you're gone you're gone but I don't believe that I believe personally that once the body leaves the soul stays like the soul it's not like you go and move on kind of thing I believe that the soul stays around and influences influences us through our lives and this is a good thing, okay? This isn't a bad thing. It, it's a better place for them. But at the same time, um, there's a there's a song called "I Believe," and I'm actually gonna um, I'm gonna add that as a link at the end of the video. Um, and it says that you know when you're gone, life goes on, and it doesn't end here when you're gone. You know, so there's always gonna be memories. Everything you do in life is influenced by that person. So that's their soul. That's their soul influencing you. So my heart goes out to his family and to his friends and to the people of Second Life because they lost an amazing designer. And I hope that he influences his family for forever. I hope that he has a positive influence on his real life family and I know that people in second life that he, he his um, his life touched are going to be influenced by him so see your life goes on so that's my blog post today and um, I hope that you guys will go check out those trick-or-treating places and pick up your gifts and you know have a good day and I hope your Halloween was awesome and I will talk to you guys later please subscribe to my youtube channel because you never know what I'm going to post here sometimes stuff that doesn't make it to my blog makes it to my youtube channel okay talk to you guys later bye